another thing that bothers me of is uh in love having secret relationships. Anybody here have secret relationships? You don't have to clap, just wink. <laughs> it's a full-time job, right? Deleting texts, sneaking to catch a ball game, ignoring in public. Finally, I told my son, look, I can't do this anymore. Here we are, here we are. Well, I, I mean, I, I fell in love, you know? And uh, what's scary about falling in love is uh, what if it's the wrong one, you know? What if when you marry your mate, they come out with a better one? I married the iPhone 10, and at the time, that was the best. Now I'm having connectivity issues. I got it wet a few times. It's not charging up like it used to. I try to turn it on and off. She won't work. I went to the pastor, I was like, excuse me, your holy molius, um, is there a trade-in policy? You know what I'm about. Another thing, you're on it whether you like it or not, right? You're at a job interview and the employer goes, hey, I know you. At what that mouth do 69? <laughs> you're either really going to get that job or you're really not going to get that job. Probably depends on what that mouth do. <laughs> Won't they name it after nasty fish like eel or carp or fish that white people like, like halibut? <laughs> and what makes a person want other people to think there's someone that they're not. You can't hell a bit in real life, right? Mm -hmm. You got that, you got that. Um, another scary thing is that my girlfriend is being stalked by my ex-girlfriend. Isn't that crazy? But my girlfriend is cool with it. We're in the drive-thru, she's like, uh, can we get two large chocolate shakes? and one small vanilla for the lady in the bushes? No. My ex is in the bushes like, thank you, girl. I'll see you later. Another thing, you're on it whether you like it or not, right? You're at a job interview and the employer goes, hey, I know you. At what that mouth do 69? <laughs> you're either really gonna get that job or you're really not gonna get that job. Probably depends on what that mouth do. <laughs> It's weird, like I'm the black guy at the back of the lineup. So I'm like the Rosa Parks of this shit. I don't think Rosa would stand for this shit. All right, so I just left um, an open mic at Flappers. But um, I... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's so much politics and shit, you know what I mean? Just do your things, it's gone. There's a lot of like politics going on there. You know, uh, what's crazy is that uh, someone was telling me the other day about how it's not a merit, 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 I don't know why my tongue's like on that word today, but um, meritocracy. You know what I'm talking about, like, good people, just because you're a good comic doesn't warrant you being, being successful, or, um, I see a lot of good people, even, like, good people, like, just because you're a good person doesn't mean you're going to be successful, or if you're a good comic, there's, like, shitty people and shitty comics who are on TV or being successful, and you're constantly sometimes seeing good comics being mistreated, and, difficult dog this is a thin line too because the funniest guy doesn't mean that's like the coolest or the stand-up guy or friendly or anything like that it just means he's a funny guy and then there's people that they want to be successful so bad that they'll do anything and they'll like step on people and be manipulative. It's, just, it's a crazy business though. There's people that are sad that you're moving faster than them. So they like want to discredit you. D! Y'all almost had burn in your head. <laughs> he saw your head, he was coming to land on your head.
Oh, <laughs> God. He thought it was a runway. He was going to come down. <laughs> oh, God. I'm glad you're okay. I'm glad you're okay. That shit was funny. But yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, it's a crazy business. You know what I mean? I'm about to turn up some more on them, though. Apply even more pressure. To be continued.